In this video, we're going to look at how to use parentheses to create multiple conditions and how to use nested conditions within other conditions in programming with ProRealTime. Here on the chart, I've added two moving averages. There's a moving average of 50 periods of the high, you can see here, and a moving average of 50 periods of the low, which you can see here. This makes sort of a channel on the chart, and we're going to create multiple conditions based on this channel to test the price level relative to the channel. Now let's create a conditional if block using parentheses and multiple conditions. First, I'm going to enter if open parentheses close is greater than average of 50 periods applied to the high and close is greater than open close parentheses then result equals one else result equals zero and if so for now this is very similar to what we've done in previous videos to finish the indicator we just need to enter return result and then click this button to add it to the chart. I'm going to modify the display of this indicator to use a histogram style and use a blue histogram with no color zone. And we can zoom in to see the histogram bars here. So why did we use parentheses here? For this particular code, removing the parentheses and then validating the program has the exact same result. The reason to add parentheses is that they have the same function in coding as they do in mathematics. Results within the parentheses are calculated separately. We can then add a separate OR condition afterwards. For example, OR close is less than average of 50 periods applied to the low, then result equals 1. So now our result will be equal to 1 if either this first condition listed within parentheses, which is actually made up of multiple parts, close is greater than average of 50 periods applied to high, and close is greater than open, or this condition close is greater than average of 50 periods applied to the low is true, then result will equal 1. All of that within a single if-then line. Now I'm going to show you how to add a nested if block within the first if block. We're going to start with our first if block, which goes from here with the initial if instruction to the end if instruction and add a second conditional block nested within it. I'm going to add the super trend indicator to this chart, which we will be using in the indicator. Just click here, search for super trend, add to the chart. This is a standard super trend of 310. Now we'll add the nested if block, if close, is greater than super trend 3 10 then result equals 1 else result equals 0 and if and then we add the second end if to close the nested code we can see that we have done this correctly because there are no errors displayed and we can see the nested code is actually displayed separately with different levels of indentation. So here we have our complete if block here and the nested if block is right here. So first the interpreter will look at this condition only if that's true, 
then it will look at the nested if block to determine if result equals 1 or 0. Because the nested if block here is only looked at if the first condition is true, that means that result can only actually be reset to 0 if this condition is true and if this condition is false right here. So let's say we don't want that. Let's say we want the result to be reset to zero. Regardless, we can actually take this part of the code out of the nested if block and put it below here. So now if our first condition right here is true, then result will equal 1 independent from the nested condition here. Else result will equal 0 and that's also independent from the nested condition here. So for this nested condition, say we want to add a second result indicator to show us the results of this second condition. For example, we could enter result 2 equals 1.5 and if and return result and result 2. So now here on this chart we can see that we actually have two different values that are returned the result as the blue histogram and result 2 as the line. Let's actually modify that to display result 2 as a dotted line. We could make that purple for example and make it a little bit thicker. So now here in my indicator I have two separate results displayed depending on whether I'm looking at result 1 or result 2. Finally, if we want to reset result 2 to 0 when this condition is not true, we could also add an else here. Else result 2 equals 0. That's going to reset the result 2 also, just like result 1 is reset with an else condition. That's within our nested condition here. What's important to remember with the nested conditions is that they're only tested if the base condition is true and you can see the level of nesting of a condition by the indentation values that are displayed in the platform.